Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to use AppGyver to create a mobile app and you're trying to figure out how to view your application from different device types or screen sizes, stay tuned. I'm covering two different methods in this video. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now, if you're wanting to view on your native device, this is not one of the two options, but you can download the AppGyver preview app. So when you go to launch, you can actually look for the steps to get the AppGyver app and actually view your application essentially from your mobile device. Now, if you want to view this option one, if you want to view different device types or sizes, is this menu right here. You can select the different device types. For example, OnePlus, we could choose Chromebook Pixel. And then you can also choose the zoom level and adjust this to essentially allow you to see more or less of the screen depending on what you're looking to do. So you'll see the resolution changes as you're basically choosing new options. So that's the way to do it within AppGyver. Option two is if you go to open app preview portal, and then we're going to choose the mobile app that we want to view, and you'll see it brings it up by default as a web app or a web preview. If you right click and click inspect, this will work in most browsers that have dev tools. So the idea is you can ignore everything on the right hand side, except this little button right here. You'll see this toggles your device toolbar. So when we have this enabled over here, just like an app Giver, we can choose different device types and you'll see your cursor will typically change and allow you to interact within the UI here. So tons of different options and you can just like in the others, you can set your own custom. So if you wanted to click edit, you could add in other devices over here on the right hand side. So they have tons of really cool options for choosing, again, just different device types to view the resolution and kind of see how you uh, you will be able to interact with it. Now, one thing to note here is unfortunately, neither of these two options show you the native Android navigation menu or provide that native experience, so to speak. So at the time of filming this video, if you're using an Android device, most devices have a native navigation bar at the bottom. So you're not going to get the exact experience because you are viewing from a web browser. But at the very least, you get a general feel for how this is going to interact between these device types. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I will see you all in the next video.